Hello, so uh, this is a lightning fast tour of our Bootstrap website build in software. Um, simply download the file from here, it's got no adware or anything built in, it's completely free. Um, that gives you this program on your PC. You come to this screen and you can add your content. Uh, the whole point of the program is that it's really fast to put your content in and build your sites, build lightweight um, sites without databases, so it's they're, they're really quick pages. Uh, you put your titles in here. This is your paragraphs, so you can add as many paragraphs as you'd like. Uh, you can add extra paragraphs at the end or before. You can shift the paragraph up or shift it down or delete it. Um, add a picture here and then set how you want that picture uh, controlled there. Uh, you can add lots of different menus, um, edit the menu text here and uh, you can add lots of pages so uh, just add extra pages shift the pages around or delete the pages uh, there it's all very easy uh, we will come back and look at this now we've got some um, well the first thing for bootstrap we've got a, a column here this is the when it starts a new row every 12 columns this allows us to change the way the rows of the width of the width of the columns and this allows us to put in um, if we need a clear fix line all these um, just call in external text files I'll show you where they are later so you can change and configure everything exactly as you you want um, you have to turn the grid on to do that otherwise it just keeps a full width page um, we've got some auto code generators so you can do things like create tables import a table from Excel um, and then build all the uh, HTML with that. Um, also you can configure it, you've got some, just add your own script file, so if you had a custom script file, um, that's just an external text file, uh, JavaScript or whatever, here we've got our carousel standard, bootstrap carousel, you can put things in here, they go into the head, put things in here, it goes into the top of the body, put things in here, it goes into the main paragraph text, so that's all easy enough you say you could all the text nothing comes from the program all the text is external change and configure it exactly how you want um, then all we need to do is to build the website you just come to the screen click that and it parses all the text that you've put in here's our website our column widths that's fine if we um, if we look here it shows you this is where the website is being built and this is the template that we're using to build it so it's just parsing the text from the previous screen into this template and creating as many pages as you as you need um, we've got a design selector here so uh, these are the only bootstrap templates at the moment only two of them but if we want the sidebar we can overwrite and that just changes the template file and so now we've got one with a sidebar um, all very easy uh, let's have a look there is an upload page, but uh, I prefer, prefer FileZilla as a lot more powerful. Um, so here's our CCS for the extra code we just use on our site. Here's the um, template file. Now, it's if you look down, it's just a standard HTML template. And here, instead of where we'd have the title text, we've got our um, title tag. Uh, all your tags on the website you can see what they they all mean but here you can put them in a little utility to put them in a bit more easily um, probably the important one is the main body for each paragraph we begin here and end there and it just loops around putting each paragraph in so you can configure it to look at um, exactly as you like really so that's that section the final one that's of interest oh, we'll just get the project set up uh, Here's our project files. You can create as many projects as you like. Um, so start different websites. And here is the text file. So that's a data file that controls all the text, a little XML data file. Um, means you can back it up, never lose your information or keep lots of different copies. This is where you build it to. Obviously, more sites you need to set a different location to be built to. And here's where you enter your template again. Um, 
the initial page, the index page, doesn't have to be called index, but you can configure it here to what you need and put a prefix in. You can have names instead of letters. Um, and you can also run ASP, PSP pages here, so put in the extension that you need, or just even if it's just a part of a, an, in an include uh, into a page. This is an important directory. It's the default one, which is where all those um, text files are saved that set up the... Uh, say what you call in when you select certain features we'll do more about that later uh, and the template as well there's a template uh, for the sitemap and this is where the sitemap you can change where your sitemaps held if we look at our sitemap it builds all this automatically and the um, XML sitemap for uh, Google's builds automatically so that makes things a lot easier and that's really just about the summary of it all. Um, I say it's all free, but if you want to have a look at our educational science cartoons promoting energy saving for Bristol Green Capital, that would be quite nice. Uh, other than that, give it a go. Thank you.